It's true, there's nothing left for him down here. And it's time, time, time. Time Time to start talking about the Telerium Q Black 2 speaker cables. Now, I promise you that time bit there wasn't planned. That was just a bit of luck as I walked in. Right then, so welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. We're here because we want to talk about the Telerium Q Black 2 two speaker cables really but we're also going to talk about the system because there's been a few changes in here components a few other bits i'll run through that in a second but i'm here to tell you that i've been listening to the tq black two speaker cables for the last few days and at this point now i am seriously seriously impressed i've got to be honest you may look at them they're kind of little thin kind of nothingness flimsy little things you may be expecting to get a bit of a wimpy sound you may be expecting to get a lean sound wrong completely wrong but i just want to explain when we started you know when, when i was sent the cables i was told to, to you know to give them a little bit of time before assessing them so i put the uh, cables in the system and obviously naturally i'm going to want to have a listen so i put the system on fired it up and i was listening and um, uh, i wasn't totally getting it if i'm perfectly honest it was sounding good but not great so i thought well i've got the black Diamonds, the TQ Black Diamonds sitting there. I've just got to put them in. I've got to listen to them. And I put them in and wallop. There was that sound that I'd been kind of missing from when I had all the Audio Quest products in the system. So I listened to the, the Diamonds for about a day. I'm not going to speak about them. That will come later. Then I put the TQ Black 2 speaker cables back in the system. And I've just let it play a little bit. And I've had now two really good listening sessions. And I am over, I'm blown away, impressed. By them, they are seriously good speaker cables. And when you think the cost, right, they cost a couple of hundred pounds for a three meter pair. Then you're looking at about eighty five pounds for the for the speaker jumpers, which will link your high frequency to your low frequency terminals. Definitely invest, spend a little bit extra and get those. So we're talking less than three hundred pounds, and it's sitting here in a system where everything, all the boxes and everything's away in the thousands. You know, we've got a pre and power twelve thousand speakers, nine thousand about £6,000 worth of saws, thousands of pounds worth of mains and stuff like that. So £300 worth of speaker cables in there, sounding this good. And they are sounding really good. And I want to demonstrate in this video and the next video where they're sounding good and where they're going to surprise people. And I want to talk about sound quality in general. And, you know, people say, oh, there's all preferences in, in, in presentation and stuff, which obviously there's going to be. But something that everybody should be aiming for is clarity and focus. So each element in the sound stage is clear and it's focused. Like is it you know, like a picture, like you can actually see, like you're seeing an element happening in front of you with clarity and with focus. And what is focus? It just means you no, know, you could picture, you can focus on it with your eyes and obviously your ears, and you can see it happening there and I think the easiest way to demonstrate focus is with mid-range because and, and vocals because when someone sings when someone's when a, when a, when a recording uh, studio records a vocalist they're generally recording a signal from a mouth into a microphone within maybe millimeters an inch two inches maybe when they get a bit creative with the singing a couple of inches so technically there's no room there's no reverb or anything it's, it's a direct signal from the mouth into the uh, microphone and when you listen back to, the, to a hi-fi system, does it sound like that? Does the mid-range and the vocal sound focused and tight and crisp like it would as if you recorded yourself? I don't know if most people have probably spoken to a microphone at some point. I don't know if they've ever monitored it back, but it's a very direct and clean signal. And that is what we should be you know, recreating with a hi-fi system. Now, obviously, there'll be songs where they mess around with it, add reverb and stuff, but if you've got a good system, you should be hearing the vocal, then the echo added to it rather than just echo, which is what some systems and some setups have by that i mean the vocal is more ah as opposed to uh that's that people don't sing like that well they do but that shouldn't be ah, it shouldn't be excessive it should be tight and crisp and focused so you can track the pitches and notes with what the vocalists are doing that's what they paid all that money to do so i want to demonstrate that with this system today with the tq black 2 speaker cables in because that's been the bit that's impressed me the most so far from the black twos that focus and now that focus is from treble right the way into the bass bass notes which are really easy to track and because things in here are so tight and focused anyway with the acoustic treatment that we've got in the room and the perfect you know frequency response that the listening position that we've got from our direct live use and the low noise floor and stuff from the system from all the mains and conditioning and stuff that we use you can clearly hear 
things. Now, going from thousands of pounds worth of Audio Quest cables, which were brilliant, and other products we've had previously, to what we've got here now, we've got the best bass notes that we've ever had from the system. And I've actually got the cheapest speaker cables that we've used in a long time. For me, for a couple of hundred pounds, these are cheap speaker cables when you factor in what's available and when you factor in the performance benefits you get when you spend more and I'll demonstrate that to you in the near future. But for about 300 pounds or less, these speaker cables have got to be the best speaker cables you can buy, buy a country mile. Uh, I'm, I'll be happy to live with these. These are that good, I could live with these you know, in this system, they really are outstanding. So right, I'm gonna demonstrate what I've been saying to you because I've been talking a lot. But before I do, let's quickly run through the system because it's been quite a few changes since you was last here. Now for starters, we're using an Isotec Synchro power cable, which has got DC blocking from our wall. And from the wall, we use Furotech mains plugs. And we've got a dedicated electrical ring for our, uh, our home cinema system in here. From there, it links to an Isotec Titan power conditioner which is really for a high current so we've got the amplifier powered off it and we've got the arcam powered off it as well obviously the arcam's not in use for this demo from there it, it leads to what's called a multi-way now that is an extension so obviously the titan's only got two plugs so from the titan we've got a multi-way which gives us another six plugs plugged into that we have got this here which is the isotech nova uh, power condition that is for your source components of powering off of that we've got our dedicated audio PC which is exactly the same as we've been using recently I know I mentioned in the previous video that we'll be doing a build on that but we haven't done that yet so the audio PC is the same in there we've got JPlay, JCAT products, Dirac Live, a load of other optimizations feeding in from a Mutec M C3 plus USB into the cord cutest stack. So all that part is all exactly the same. So really the main change has been the mains conditioning. One slight change is we're now using a Nordoist Blue Heaven BNC cable from the audio PC, or the Mutec really, into the core cutest. So obviously we was using an audio quest products, audio quest coffee cable before, but obviously that went back with that. So we've got a Nordoist Blue Heaven in there. And then obviously from the new products here, the Pre and the Power, the C Luxman C700U preamplifier and M700U power amplifier. Connected to that, we're using XLO Limited Edition like we always do. And then we've got our Telerium Q Black uh, speaker cable, speaker two, Telerium Q Black 2 speaker cables linking to our reference, Kef Reference 3 speakers, which are sitting on top or you know, sitting under ISO Acoustics Gaia 2 speaker isolator. So there's a lot going on in this system you know there's a lot of boxes there's a lot of effort and attention to detail right and there's more going on in here than we could no, i've told you obviously the room's fully decked out with grk acoustics uh panels which are mostly covered over in black because it's a cinema room and the result after all that chat i'm out of breath is one second not this one the result is well the smart one is on horror I'll be back to talk about it after. Well, the smart money's on Harlow And the moon is in the street The shadow boys are breaking all the laws And you reach of East St. Louis And the wind is making speeches And the rain sounds like a round of applause Napoleon is weeping in the carnival saloon. His invisible fiance is in the mirror. The band is going home. It's raining hammers, raining nails. It's true, there's nothing left for him now. And it's time, time, time It's time, time, time It is time, time, time that you love And it's time, time And they're orphans And the memory's like a train 
You can see it getting smaller as it pulls away And the things you can't remember To the things you can't forget That history puts a shame in every dream Well, she says she'd stick around Until the bandages came off But these mama's boys just don't know when to quit And Matilda asks the sailors Are those dreams or are those prayers? So close your eyes, son And this won't hurt a bit And it's time beautiful song isn't it i heard that recently uh at the high end show in munich uh, it was in the harbour for them they was playing it and again when i listened to it back after i, was like, oh, I really like the sound of that it's a couple of really good tracks on that album and there'll be a link to that to buy the album from amazon you know in the, in the description below the video so i'll suggest you go and do that because that's a wonderful track to demonstrate and test your own systems for, for vocal and for that kind of clarity and focus that i was talking about you can clearly hear we've got a piano and then the piano has got reverb and echo added to it because i'm sure the way they mic that up is to, is to record that because that's the whole idea of a piano you've got the keystrokes and you've got the strings that vibrate and stuff the body you know that's the whole idea of a piano body is to give it resonance and stuff but a vocal with a good microphone is for clarity and focus and that's exactly what you get from that track it's exactly it's a really kind of personal song isn't it into into the microphone and <laughs> you can clearly hear it that's outstanding sound it's really tight and focused you know with no ah there's no there's no excess there's no you know so no fat added to the sound of that song and that's exactly what this system sounds like at the moment there's, it sounds like there's no fat being added anyway i'm sure there is and i'm sure there's benefits to be had from other things as always but using the tq black twos speaker cables when i put them in once they've had some time i've sat there and i've listened to all different types of music really basic music really you know acoustic -y sort of stuff and everything just sounds absolutely fantastic i'm really 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 impressed with them you <laughs> know really blown away impressed in fact but obviously for the low cost and for me personally in here having a black, <laughs> a black speaker cable is perfect obviously but they're really slim line you can hide them away uh, you know, out of the way and stuff like that, which is a real benefit as well. So, you know, I'm really massively impressed by them. And I wasn't sure if I was expecting to be or not coming from, you know, £5,000 worth of audio quest cables, which are awesome as well. <laughs> I'm blown away by obviously the £300 worth we've got here. And 
obviously coming up we'll be doing we'll be putting the black ones in the system giving them a, you know a good few days having a good listen see how we are and obviously the comparison videos will be coming but just want you to get a feel for how the system is at the moment with, with the black two speaker cables in it obviously we've got ultra black you know balanced connections linking the luxman's pre and power together and i really would like to get uh, a telerium q uh, balanced digital an sp diff uh, cable sorry to link obviously the computer digital transport to the cutest DAC because then we've got TQ really through the chain obviously adding the Nordoist in you know maybe that's adding a bit of magic to the system I don't know but really I would like to keep it all the same so hopefully I can I can speak to Telerium Q and they'll, they'll sort of send me one to try that with because you know I really want to try it <laughs> I'd really like to try you know their, their best one to see what that's like so I hope you've enjoyed this video again I'm just trying to give you a bit of an insight into these really good speaker cables and why they're good and i'm going to do more in the next video and obviously the video after that so come back for those i hope you've enjoyed this one leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you didn't obviously feel free to you know, leave a thumbs down no issue at all make sure you visit our website go on the youtube channel our youtube channel obviously we've got loads of munich show videos obviously going on there as well and i'll see you soon thanks for watching